I was like, this God, this is Shin Megami, this is Chrono Trigger, not Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. Yeah. Look, bad. If you're gonna be following me around like this, I'm gonna need you to start contributing to the contributing to the party. You just kind of have something against this bat, don't you? Okay, so you're um probably evil. <laughs> Listen, you walk into the fiend lord's castle, a castle specifically made of fiends who don't like humans, cool, and your first instinct is when you see humans to go like, "No, they're probably evil." What kind of human are you? I don't want to talk to them. I'm going to get into a fight if I talk to them. Would you not like to talk to I'll us, talk to comrade? you. You're far enough away. Okay, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. Well, that's what we are doing, technically. I'm trying. No, sir, I don't like it. Okay, so when I go back, they're all going to be demons, right? Why would they be demons? Ooh, a sword. Sorry, sword. Nope, can't get it. Okay. I'll leave, that's fine. Just let me keep walking, don't worry. Don't worry about it, I'm just going to keep going this way. Don't mind me. Just pass through. They let me pass through. I mean, we haven't actually gotten into a fight with anybody in here yet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's a horror movie murder scene about to happen right there. I'm just going to... <laughs> hey, are you moving towards me? I believe so, yeah. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> Is that the oh, queen? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Well, just talk to them, the other group. No! It, it's your, apparently it's your mom up there. I can't talk to him. Oh, I can. Oh, it's Luca's dad. Nope! <laughs> nope! We're just moving right along here. Oh, nothing in this room. Ah, crap. I gotta go talk back, go back and talk to the horror children. <laughs> Get away from me. You know, the concerning thing is, is how do they know about your parents if you're from the future? Like, I'm assuming there's a mind read thing going on here, but... This is... It's our treasure. You guys got big hitboxes, too. I can't, like, squeeze in. Yeah, Usually I can kind of, like, thing. edge my way in and... Oh, a save point. That's not a save point. I don't believe you. Well, I mean, the save point showed up. I know it! Nope, I don't... It's Aussie. And he's not in a pickle. <gasps> it's a fight. Oh, a hundred? I think we can manage that. Oh! Ooh! A bat bit me! <laughs> okay, so those guys were in armor, probably weak to magic, not physical, but you never know. Go to these. Let's go ahead Underling. and... Ooh, oh yeah, they only have 50 magic defense. They are definitely weak to magic. Okay, so I'm gonna want to AoE the two on the bottom. Stab the bats, because the bats are weenies. Vampire thank you. And you fire whirl on those two. Yup! With that much HP. Ow. What happens? Yeah, how much damage do you do just stabbing them? Oh, you can just stab them. Yeah, they have about 180 HP, so. Yeah, that's, these guys are weenies. Just, st just stab them. It's fine. Ooh. 
good money out of that. He's bad away from me, dang it. <laughs> what is it with you and a bat? It's following me! Bats don't do that! What if they really liked you? I don't... Somehow I don't believe that. Also, it annoys me, and I, I know it's your thing, but you have inventory. Why don't you use the items that you could heal? Because then I have to go buy the items again. <laughs> but then you have to rest for the MP. It's my curse to bear. <laughs> so I will curse your throat with my... So, oh. oh, you're a big boy. Hey, buddy. Can I, like, go up here? Hey, what happened to all the humans here? That's a good question. Oh, the door's open now. Oh, wait, no, it was open before. Yeah, you went the... through the door. Yeah, it led up to the thing. Okay, so these guys used to be people. I see. Look, bad. Get back here. If you're gonna be hanging around, you gotta you gotta pull your weight. Enjoy the fight, suckers. Okay, so. Okay, attack a skeleton. Just figure that crap out. How much damage you? Okay, a lot of damage. Just wreck them. Um. Is Napalm an AoE with Luca? I don't know. These guys are all far enough away, I can't really AoE him, but we'll see how much damage. Okay, just melee them all, got him. Everybody in this dungeon is a weenie. Ah, even Luca killed one with her gun. It's all the skeletons. I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting a lot more from the Fiend Lord's Castle. You guys gonna. Got anybody in here that'll put up a fight? <laughs> oh, you say that. God, you were... Oh, I know there are people in here that will put up a fight. I have played this game before. I know, it's just, you have this, like, just this weird moment of just saying stuff that's like, go ahead, do your worst, God, and then you just get struck by lightning, and you're like, I can take it, you big bitch! <laughs> Get, like, struck by lightning three more times. Okay, so this is gonna be something. You're like, you, you're be never... Nice if they give me, be nice if they actually gave me a save spot out there, though, when they kind of hinted at giving me a save spot. We could always leave the castle and save. Yeah, but then I'd have to fight people again. Oh my god, bitch, bitch, bitch. How are we doing on HP? Uh, <sighs> yeah, let's heal Luke. Wait, Slash's real name is Saul Hudson? Maybe he'll crow now. That is, that is pretty awesome, honestly. Okay, what do you got? Guys just... Guys just out here being... Being you. Oh, cool, they're all dead. Oh, cool. So from a game design perspective, I feel like the intention here is that these guys are actually easy to kill. Like, they're not actually the people you're fighting. Like, these are the people that are suffering. They're supposed to be easy to kill because they're quote-unquote innocents. Oh, cool, he's back. Be real cool if I could save before this. Who does this guy remind me of? Oh, Pycon. Pycon, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. I knew exactly what you were talking about. I was like, it's Pycon. Oh, uh, this is Slash. 
He's also known as soy sauce. Soy the, sauce. Yeah, it's literally soy sauce. Yeah, in the Japanese version. Thanks, Toriyama. Yes, that is him. Okay, so I can try... Let's try... X-Strike, I think, will probably do physical. Yeah. So we can try that on him to see what physical does. And then we'll have Luca use flame. Okay, so physical does good. And then try flames to see what that does. <laughs> Ooh, my butt. Not a lot. Jab, lunge, thrust. So it looks like we do want to use predominantly... Do I want to keep using X-Strike or try using... I mean, X-Strike's one of your best abilities, so... Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, these other ones do elemental damage, and he didn't take a lot of elemental damage, but then I'm wondering if that's, like, an elemental property, or... Uh... Yeah. You don't really have anything other than fire. Ow, my face! Alright, Luca's hurting a little. I'm just gonna keep using X Strike. Luca's not really gonna be able to contribute much to this, unfortunately. You know what? Let's, um. What else do I have? Okay, the I got Cyclone and Cleave. Okay, let's cleave you and then have you heal Luca. And you're just gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep slurping. You know what? Slurp yourself. Slurp feels like it's really not healing as much as it healed outside of battle. I think it's just because he has a weak heal. No, it was doing more, I feel. Like, I think it was doing over 100. Yay! Hey, you won! Ah, dang it. Now you have to fight Slash, but with sword. And now he just ran into the wall for some reason. <laughs> Bonk! Um, I should probably still be healing. It's hard for me to read Chrono's HP. I should probably still heal. You could probably throw a potion at him or something. Yeah, I could probably just have Luka toss potions. That way we can friggin' X-Strike his body. Because... Slash in the previous mode had 3,200 HP. This time he has 5,200 HP. Oh and now he has his own Wind Scarf. Wind Bar. You have other po higher level potions we need to use them. Yeah. Okay, that had both of the spots. Oh, yeah, it's the Wind Scarf. Um, yeah, I think I'll use a higher level potion. Mid potion. Mid potion. Yep. 200? Aw, oh, that's such a waste. Well, you're also at the point where you're starting to, like, really need to use those to cover people. It's such a waste. It's a waste. It's you. It's you being a waste. Stop it. Stop it. Why do you get two turns? Oh, we're here and stand you for that. <laughs> it really did. I like how the X strike is famous just for because it makes an X, but you're, he's so in these corners and everything that it just looks like you made a straight line every time you attack at him. Okay, I'm starting using mid potions. Uh, I'll start on a chrono. Cut it out. <laughs> he is going to stab you for a crack. He is cutting it out. He has a sword. And mid potion on. Frog. Froggo. And now a mid potion on Luca, thanks. Ooh, definitely she is in crit. Aw, you jerk. <laughs> mm. 
Nope, that's a mid potion. Nope, 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 that one. Oh, we're out of juice? Oh, Chrono's out of juice. Oh, got ethers. What do you got? Both are non-elemental. What's that, one and two? Two and one. What are you at? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna potion you. You may need to have Chrono hit him. So well, you could think he did that mid potion. Yeah. Mid yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and. Mid ether? Ether. What's a mm -hmm. 10? Well, the you know, thing only costs like one or something. Well, I got 26 of these. Okay, item. You are mid potioning. Do I have, like, a party-wide potion? Can I just, like, 50 HP to that whole party? Yes, they're called Mega Elixirs, and you only get five of them. Dang it. Well, oh, now I never use them. Why, why is this curse I have so terrible? I, yeah, actually, I just hit Chrono pretty hard, so let's make potion him. And then you can... Slurp Slash again. Ow. Oof. Cut that out! <laughs> now he's going crazy! <laughs> well, that's, he's dead. Yeah, that's so, frog um, now. Time to backpedal. Okay, we're up and at him. Let's go. No, it's up and at him. Up and at them. <laughs> up and at him. Up and at them. Better. Okay, so how are we feeling? Oh, we, we won. won. I now I have to go buy mid potions. <laughs> grumble, grumble. I should have brought, like, Marley or somebody in. I think you can still mix, that up. mix and match people, so... Ooh, you get a sword. Cool. Attain Slasher. Stupid bat. <laughs> well, you are just really having it out for the bat. Ooh, and it's plus two to speed. Ooh. And a save point. I can use a shelter. Thank heavens. Nope, toggle over there. Too bad I only have 13 of them. Well, yeah, can't, I well just can't leave. use that. I well just leave town and everything. All right, good show. Doing fine. Well, it's that um, magic damage was bad on him. Okay, yeah. Otherwise, Luca would have been fine. It did suggest in the strategy for him unarmed, mm -hmm. it would it probably would also would have carried over for him in sword mode, is that you just put berserk rings on Chrono and Frog and then just have Robo heal everyone occasionally. Mm. But just, like, also Robo tackle him. Yeah, like, honestly, Luca probably would have been the... I'm gonna go ahead and swap out, actually. Um, because Marley or Robo both have a heal. And Luca does not. Wait so if Frog is, like, indisposed since he's our heal... I would suggest Robo for now, because we haven't had him for a while. Yeah, we haven't seen Robo in a little while. And then we can just do, like, Luca later or something. I was debating Marley because she does have ice if, if we needed magic. Well, she also has water magic, which is also what Frog is That's covering. That's true. So if we need to really split magic, we need to put Luca back in at yeah. some point. But for right now, I think we're good. But you're not going to murder the kids? Oh, fine. Well, they don't want to murder. No. Also, Luca hey, Luca, just hey, showed. You know. Hey, um... So you know fights going on. Okay, so that's heal. So what do I want to do? I want to murder the crap out of you. Yeah, that worked. 
and then get murdered the crap out of them. And we can just auto the rest of these guys. Wow, you really hit her hard there, Rick. <laughs> stone, that stone hand coming in. <laughs> Robo's throwing down stone hands, really coming handy. <laughs> Frog launcher, bubble breath. Ooh, oh, a man. Triple tech. Heck yeah. Triple attack. And the bat came back. And the bat went away. Well, this strategy worked well last time, so... Oh, I can't not have Frog in my group right now. Yeah, no, it's Frog's mandatory. So I think I actually... Hey, Frog, hey, learn heal. finally. I think that's the moderate heal for everyone, too. Ooh. Um, I am considering, because we're probably going to go fight Flea next. Who toggles back and forth between week two, magic and not. Well, Chrono has good magic. Who told you Flea was going to be next? Because oh, wait, Ozzy did mention Slash yeah. and Flea, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. But we were t straight up told. Yeah, so I suppose Chrono has... I just feel like Robo is going to be kind of useless in this fight. Yeah, I'm going to swap out... Just for the fight, I'm going to swap Robo out for uh, Marley. So now we have two good physical users, two good magic users. Technically, Frog can magic, but like he's kind of not built for that. I mean, really, Chrono is not. So this is apparently player. Slash's mom's name, and goddamn, that's a good name. Hmm. Hi, Ma. Oh, she was a fashion designer. That's neat. Oh, she did work for the Pointer Sisters, Diana Ross, Janet Jackson, David Bowie, John Lennon, and Ringo Starr. Man, getting out there. That was a career and a half. Oh, wow, her designs are are in the permanent collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Ooh, X-Strike is kind of expensive, actually. We got anything nice and cheap? Everything Chrono does costs two. Yeah, I think that's the thing with Chrono, is that he hits hard, but he also has a bad MP pool for what he needs to do. Oh, she designed clothing for the man who fell to Earth and for Station to Station. Oh, she also created the black pants and waistcoat for David Bowie's thin white Duke look. Hmm. 